Alright, what are we doing today? Um, Alright, cool. So a low two, ball taper, keep the beard as wide as possible. I got you, bro. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Bayman. Today, we got one of them bangers, man. If you're new to my channel, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get alerted when the videos come out. Without further ado, let's lock in, let's get it. I want to kick this video off by going in with a number two guard completely closed. As you guys heard at the beginning of the video, he want to do a low two going into a ball taper, keeping the beard as wide as possible. I want to accommodate my client as best as I can. So what I'm going to do is just basically going to go by the rules that he wanted me to go by. Also, I'm going to drop the guard down to like a one and a half just to clean up some of the wispier hairs too at the same time to get it more of a smooth transition and bring the hair all the way down to that one desired length. As you guys could tell, we focus. We locked in happy thursday to everybody that's out there if you out there doing your thing you out there you feeling real good this morning or even if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed you know we here it's always a blessing to wake up and it's always a blessing to tap in with my community 544,000 of us man like you know we still climbing we still working we still doing the things that we need to do to elevate every day so you know if you out there and if you watching my videos and been watching my videos consistently i wholeheartedly appreciate all of you guys so as you guys can see we getting the hair down to that one desired length and this happening My next step is to set basically a ball line in. I kind of skipped that part of the video. So from doing that ball line, I'm going to go in completely closed with a one and a half guard. And as you guys could tell, open them up halfway here. And I'm just basically going to just create, you know, a form of transition. Now open. Clean. Brush on fade one, just staying consistent. Now going with the grain just to ensure that it's all cleaned up and it's all in that pocket and that realm that I need it to be in. Next step, completely open a half of an inch, giving myself more of a guideline just so I can exactly see where I'm going to blend in from being completely balded to not balded at all. Next step, number one guard, completely open a half inch above that last line that I set. Drop them halfway here, which is the third notch on the clipper. So I dropped them halfway and then completely closed here. Just trying to stay consistent as possible and trying to bring it all the way together for you guys. Now completely closed. Next step, 0.5 guard, completely open, which is the 116th guard. This is the zero guard. Taking my time, staying consistent through and through and bringing it all the way together. We completely open here and you're gonna see me drop them halfway right there to the third notch, playing in between that. And as you guys can see, I'm using my, my thumb to basically stretch uh, the side of the client's head. You wanna open that area up if your guidelines aren't super wide and now completely closed just to ensure that you can see that gradient effect coming in these smaller pockets or if you, you know, doing tighter blends in the smaller areas. Now starting off completely close from that open area and let's go ahead let's blend it all the way in halfway close as you guys can see it's coming together very well it's coming together beautifully Now I want to go completely open with my 116 guard, which is my zero guard. Just chiseling that some of this hair of the beard because I want to be able to fade this as well. Going completely open, dropping them halfway, completely closed. And we starting to get a nice transition from the beard to the sideburn as well. Consistency. It's a beautiful thing, man. Now doing final cleanup work towards the top of the taper area as you guys can see it's all coming together 
It's all coming together, man. It's all for a greater purpose. Doing the same thing back here, starting my ball line back here in the back, doing a clean ball line, uh, giving myself at least of an inch because I know the nape area drop a little lower on this client so I could, you know, kind of sacrifice more room in this taper. Now going completely open, I'm giving myself about a whole inch. All my guidelines kind of change because my nape area, like I said, is longer uh, than the side panel for me to taper in. So I just basically want to ensure that my gradient look is going to pop out. It's going to be nice. It's going to really show that level. So starting completely close with that one and a half guard and let's get to work and let's get to creating this transition. Taking my time, brushing one, fading one, staying consistent, staying on top of the game. Now going in with a number one guard, completely open, just taking my time, brush one, fade one, drop them halfway here. And as you guys could tell, like we starting to get a gradient effect. Even though the fade ain't perfect right now, we starting to get that gradient effect. You guys are starting to see me down fade from those areas and create this transition in the taper in the nape area. So, you know, just stay as consistent as possible. Keep brushing, keep fading, understand that number system and stay in that world. And as you guys can see now, I'm down to that zero guard. I'm completely open. I'm playing in between my lines right here. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm putting it together. I'm putting it together. It's just me in the game right now and I'm just focused, I'm locked in and I'm bringing it all the way together. Just staying as consistent as possible. Yeah, I know like I always tell y'all, consistency is everything. Now no guard dropping them and I wanna clean up this area. And so I'm gonna be like, beam, like the back taper not even finished, yeah, it's not. When I knock out the bottom, you could tell I could go back in using a, a, a zero guard and just clean everything up. And that's what I'm doing here. Now that the bottom is completely blended out, I can literally use the edges of my teeth to literally blend out these areas and just get everything as consistent as possible and get it as low as I can. And as you guys could tell, it came together beautifully. Now, nah, there we go. We in that world. Now to start off on the right side, this one of my favorite sides, just to chop it up with my people in the world, man. I was on the game yesterday with a couple of my homies, and we were just talking about, like, you know, marriage. I still got a couple friends who, you know, just don't believe in marriage and things of that nature right now, man. And I'm telling y'all, regardless of what people say in the world, man, it's a lot of great men, it's a lot of great women in the world. You just gotta find your batch. Like, I'ma keep it a buck with you. Ain't nothing in the streets but a headache, <laughs> a headache and some stress. And to be honest, man, like, we live in them times right now where if you ain't got somebody to build with, it can be very devastating to your growth process. It can be very devastating for any man to be greater than who he is, and it can be very devastating for a woman to be who she needs to be if, if if both roles understood and knew exactly who they were throughout the relationship then it's easier for you guys to grow with each other it's not saying that either person has to stick to doing one thing but women bring a certain balance to men lives and men bring a certain balance to women lives and I think we got to understand that and me being 29 years old like you know me and my girl and just 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 working on us building and building and building and building with each other man I got a couple homies who are already in that you know merry world and like you know my homie my homie Basio y'all know Basio like we talk about it all the time and you know it's just it's just understanding and knowing you know what a woman actually brings to your situation and it'd be so many people who believe in you know this whole Kevin Samuel thing if you supposedly a high value man to make this much money that you could just treat people a certain way or you just so above you know the law and that's not how it work you know being realistic I got a grandparent and grandparents who've been married for 50 years and regardless of what my grandparents make I didn't watch them hold it down for years man so like my guys out there my women out there you know marriage is very important if it's something that you don't want to do I don't I don't hold it against you at all but if it's something that you do want to do 
I'm telling you, it's a lot of benefits. It's a lot of advantages of helping you becoming a, a better centered or balanced male or, or woman. But as you guys can see, I hop in using my Rose Gold FXs and I'm just putting these straight lines on these uh, nape areas and I'm just bringing it all the way together. Just ensuring that I'm getting a nice, clean, tight line. Y'all know what time it is. We about to get in that space. X mark the spot. And we just about to, you know, we about to get in that kill shot world. Using the corner of my teeth to work myself around the ear here. It's all coming together. Doing one vertical bar here. Reference point A. Reference point B. Now doing the center point and then working myself all the way to one of those reference points. My client has a lot of like growth on the forehead. So some people will be like, oh, don't push them back. Don't do this. Don't do that. Some people you have to do a professional pushback just to get the line up straight. But as long as you're not taking away hair, that's going to come back and grow and look disgusting. So like the, the, the type of tapping into the lineup that I did on this one The hair won't grow back and look disgusting This is literally like a person who has overgrowth on the forehead You just gotta clean up some of these areas To help his line and come all the way to life And as you guys can see Beautiful, 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 beautiful We putting it together my next step is to go in with my boy Sean Cuss Hair Color Enhancement Card, assisting it with the Beam Team Coilless Compressor and our Color No Drip. It's a complete waterproof color. The Beam Team Coilless Compressor is the strongest wireless compressor on the market right now, shooting three times the airflow, double the PSI, you know, wireless charging in its self sensing tank, and the color speaks for itself. It's waterproof, it's built to stain the skin, non chemical based. You can use this product on anybody because it was designed for skin. So, as you guys can tell, man. Man, like we in that world we is special if you want any of these products that i'm using in this video check the link in the descriptions below if not also the tune 45 products the ones that i developed these the ones that i'm using in my hand you can go to tune 45 using the promo code beam to get 15 percent off all of your products my next step is to go in using a color application brush using some color and just basically framing out the beard and i want to frame out the beard i want to keep it as wide as possible like he said earlier but i want to give it more of a dense effect Effect. And I'm not gonna lie, at the end of this video, y'all gonna be overly whelmed with the results of how beautiful this haircut look. And it's just haircuts like this that put me back in that world. I said something to myself last week when I dropped that dread video, and I was telling y'all, like, you know, this that old beam. And I'm looking, man, and it's like, shout out to everybody who watched that video, who, who commented, who showed love throughout that video, because I know YouTube is playing right now, and I explained it to y'all last video as well. YouTube are unsubscribing a lot of you guys and unnotifying a lot of you guys for my videos. If you guys could just go back into go back into clicking on my channel uh, and unsubscribe and resubscribe then hit the notification bell I watched the whole video of it of certain people were saying that their notification bell wasn't working and what was happening was once they clicked it and cut it on it still wouldn't work so you gotta unsubscribe resubscribe and then hit the notification bell and it's just disgusting because they're trying to control your bag they're trying to control your influence they're trying to control you know your motion and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them guys that have fought through a lot of systems in my life so I'm gonna fight through this one as you guys can see I go in using the tune 45 precision pack pencil and I'm just basically outlining the hair treating it like a set of eyebrows concealing it and just trying to bring a form of contrast to this haircut to take it to a whole nother level but as I was stating about the YouTube thing we fight through these journeys we didn't had journeys while our backs was against the wall this don't make or break me y'all know who I am I always been genuine uh, with with my process I always been trying to teach you guys how to be great at the things that y'all do but I I see that YouTube is trying to cheat me on the back end, so it is what it is. I'm just going to stay consistent. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep putting the message out there for you guys, and we're going to keep working. That's just how it's always been. That's the mindset that I got, and it's 2024. It's year the big dogs. Y'all know me. I'm locked in. I'm focused. I'm smiling. I'm living my life. I'm in that world, so you know, I'm going in using my trimmers, and I'm just hitting these lines, and I'm trying to create this contrast against the skin, making and forcing the pencil to spread across the color of the skin. And one thing I like about these trimmers, they blink in red. It's just allowing me, letting me know my FX1 battery is going dead. So I can always pop out the battery and pop in a new battery and, you know, we be good. 
I'm gonna hit the bottom of the mustache right here. It's one of my favorite parts because his mustache just came out crispy in this video. It was something about it that day, like super clean, as you guys could tell. Look at that. And then once I hit this side right here, you're gonna see me bring it all the way together. Mustache coming out beautiful. Haircut coming out beautiful. Wait till I lean him back and get with that razor. It's gonna get super spooky. Now hitting the bottom of the beard line, I'm gonna keep it wide, right? So we not gonna take too much of that line away. We hitting the bottom of that beard line. And once we hit the bottom of that beard line to keep everything wide as possible, we're going to use the trimmers to give the beard some type of form or shape. And it's going to really bring the beard all the way out. So all these loose hairs overhang, it's going to be gone. Now look at that. I'm basically doing the bottom of the beard the same way I did the bottom of the neck area, trying to make it very consistent with the line itself. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Doing the same thing here, hitting the bottom of the neckline. Just stay as consistent as possible, not taking too much away from his beard at all, but keeping it as thick as possible and as wide as possible. And doing the same thing towards the bottom, you know, to keep that shape alive. Beautiful. It's a beautiful process, bro. And as you guys can see, I want to angle that razor at a 45 degree angle, stretch the skin and bring everything back to the highest point. Look at the razor spitting that crack. I'm telling y'all, we got the 245 scoped in razor coming out very soon, like literally coming out within this week. You guys, y'all ask for it. Multiple videos in a row. I done put this razor in front of y'all face a lot of times. It's a Turkish style razor, very consistent through and through with how you how are you able to put and lay down lines? This is probably going to be one of the Tomb 45 greatest pieces. Um, I love the triple cartridge as well, but I believe this one give you so much more control in terms of bringing your products all the way to, together, bringing your lines to the best, you know, forefront to get the most consistent pop out of your lines. This razor is it, and as you guys can see that's watching the videos, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but you guys can see the control that I got. You guys can see the consistency that's coming out of it. You guys can see me making Making this image pop I'm turning my client into one of those guys right now It was my dog birthday so I had to get him right And as you guys can see when you got a razor like this And you got this much control It's impossible not to get somebody crispy And that's my whole objective Is to make him as clean as possible As crispy as possible And get him locked in Like we in that, we in that world It's a beautiful thing Like I said I told y'all When I'm focused it is dark It get dark for you too When I'm focused it's dark it's not to say that I'm better than nobody, it's just to say that the realm that we be in, the lock-in that we have together, this community is everything. And like I said, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get alerted. I educate you guys on how to get to the highest ranks in this thing that we call Barber, how to reach success, you know, how to make the money behind a chair, how to make your clients and then pack your clients with every haircut. I, I'm the guy to show you guys how to do it all. It's not about just being a barber. It's about how you manage your your, your, your funds It's about what you do with them And all type of things like that We have a thing, you know In Tune 45 The six figure mentorship um, With my dog Chris Basio And we help you guys To bring this thing all the way to life But for my guys on YouTube I'm giving you guys Flavor, Flav, Flash And I'm giving you guys the whole nine And this came out fire This is a beautiful haircut, dog Like, come on, man We not stepping <laughs> like, that's crazy, bruh. That's fire, man. Just beautiful. It is unfortunate that we get clients that come in the shop two months without getting haircuts. As barbers, it's up to us to change that whole process. This is what we built for. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. Without further ado, who would I be if I didn't step in the name of love? Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Hashtag Glass. Y'all know what time it is. We focus. We locked in. We bringing that fire back to the game. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button to all get alerted when new videos come out. My name is Beam, and I be putting it together for y'all on here. When it comes to the beats, it comes to the haircuts, it comes to the education. I'm just showing y'all that we levels and tiers above the rest. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I appreciate you if you was able to make it through this video without further ado i appreciate you guys and may god bless all right bro you gonna let me know what you think oh the original oh, original
<laughs> in the game, bro. I told you I was gonna get you crispy, bro. Yeah, you in there? You in there? I appreciate that, bro. How long has it been since you had a haircut, bro? As y'all can see, YouTube. It's just a quick little two-week cleanup. Had to get my boy right for his birthday. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button, share button, and hit that notification bell to get alerted when the videos come out. I'm Beam and I'm out of here.